Okay, here comes the enemy stove ability. The enemy titan increased uh, damage. All right, we got out, got this guy out of the way. And that guy feels safe around the wall. Jesus, man. The enemy team gets completely deleted by this one Fen Fenrir right here. I want the titan. I want it. I want it. Ah. Okay. Well, somebody else got it. And now I think I, think I might die now because he probably has stealth. Probably has it ready. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! <laughs> What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to a very special video right here. 300% damage output on the Fenrir with Nucleons and Atomizers. Um, and uh, it's a bit of an older video footage that I had still laying on my hard drive, and I, it's, it's such gold right there, because this absolute beast is a monster in today's meta, and it was a meta when I recorded it, uh, because it's almost impossible to kill it, alright? So, two heavy wep- no, one heavy weapon, two medium weapons, with 300% damage boost through drone and overdrive. Let's go and ruin somebody's day, okay? Uh, but first! This is Raid Shadow Legends, today's sponsor and an awesome RPG for your mobile phone and PC. Use my QR code here on screen, all the links down below to download Raid yourselves today. We all love elves, don't we? And Raid's got plenty of them, and especially a dark variety that I want to show you. In Raid's Teleria, there are two kinds of elves, the High Elves and the Dark Elves. They used to be one people, but then they separated because Syroth tempted them, and of course it didn't take long for wars to erupt between the now two separate kinds of elves. Which leads me to the next thing I really love about Raid. I said this a few times, but I just can't get enough of the champion model's look. Uh, the art design is just perfection. Fitting to the topic in this one here, I'm showing you a few High Elves here. Absolutely gorgeous, if you ask me. Towards the end of this month, Raid's got a jam-packed Halloween lineup as well as big rewards, tournaments and some brand new legendary champions from the Fragment events ready for you, including a new spooky Halloween champion. And see this inbox button up here? This is where new players will find their awesome welcome pack once they start playing Raid using my QR code here on screen or the links down below within 30 days. Uh, they also get this awesome epic hero Chonoru and many important resource bonuses uh, on top. And remember, Raid is a free-to-play game, so no reason not to go ahead and test it for yourselves. So come find me in the game under the name Manny G. Right, so here we are in the match, ladies and gents. We're running as fast as we can with the Fenrir towards one of the beacons. Uh, we have weapons that deal a lot of damage and that never have to reload, you know? Uh, but of course, um, there are some weapons like uh, that, that might, might outperform it on the short term. Um, but look at this range and the damage we can do. We can force people into using abilities. Almost drop this guy to last stand just in a drive-by. He just wanted to get through this tiny bit of cover and uh, and then he already lost almost his entire robot in that short situation. So we're in attacking now. Uh, remember, this is even, this is older footage. The uh, legendary pilot Bernadette Wolf wasn't even in the game at that point. So I, di I still had the energy shield. Uh, instead of the higher resistance and or, or the increased HP thingy, you know, so um, this is really insane I think it's the high resistance that the Berna Delve gives you uh, But the good news is that this shield even still works today and uh, You can make it work when you get shot you can activate the shield and then you take zero damage Instead of reduced damage through the resistance, so it's actually still interesting to use this tank without um, the uh, the shield I uh, know without the legendary new pilot, uh, but uh, even with it, it it's just, no matter how you play it, this thing is a beast. Look, I activated this guy's last stand right there. No, it's ability, I mean, and now he's uh, basically wasting his ability. I just shot him for like a second or so, and then he immediately activated his ability, and now he's going down afterwards. Bam! And uh, yeah, I'm getting a very unfortunate lockdown right here. I almost killed the entire Ares in those two seconds, uh, but now I got locked there, very unfortunate, in, in, right in line of sight of all these enemies. Uh, but hold on a second. I'm a Fenrir. I can handle that, alright? So this guy's locked, and look at this. Even despite this being a Falcon, he goes down really quickly. And he also had the Nucleon on it, so... Interesting. Um, at that time, uh, the Nucleons and the Atomizers were played a bit more because we didn't have the SCADI back then, you know? Uh, and uh, so, this was a popular setup, um, and here it was absolutely shining. Look, here's one of those examples where the shield really helps. Something that the resistance wouldn't be able to do. I exposed myself very much, I'm in the open. Now the Ares, would, uh, Ares over there would lock me down. You already see the lockdown symbol to the left. So what I do, I activate the shield, I walk into safety, and without getting locked down, I am back in cover. 
This would not have worked with the Bernadette uh, legendary pilot because you d you wouldn't have a shield that blocks damage and lockdown and everything altogether, you know. So it, it has its pros and cons. Overall, I would say the Bernadette legendary pilot makes the Fenrir much more powerful, um, especially today in the meta. But uh, there are moments where the uh, non-legendary pilot version is actually uh, also better. So here we go. Uh, this Loki, I'm hitting him right there with one of my Atomizers, and he's a smart guy. He knows his last stand is about to be activated, so he may as well just drop the stealth and do some damage, you know? So it was a good move right there. Really well done, sir. So let's get back out. You, By the way, you also see that the graphics is a bit different. It's not as sharp looking, you know? It's That's because it's the old recording that I still had laying around. And sometimes here and there I found some old gems on my hard drives. And this is one of those moments. I, I can't believe they're still working on that Fenrir. How many things have I already killed? And they're still working on that Fenrir. It's not possible to kill it. It's just so difficult to take it down. Look at that Ares. It's the dude from before. Oh, by the way, uh, you're dead now. Bye. You've been uh, you've been long enough on the battlefield. This guy, dude, look, he almost lost his robot. That was when the Blitz still had 90% resistance, I think. Uh, or did he already have? I'm not sure, but I, I I think did he have the shield even? No, I think he didn't. He had the legendary pilot, and that legendary pilot used to have a 90% resistance, I think. Now it's only 80 on the Blitz, uh, and so he can take be taken down a little faster and easier now. Um, but uh, back then, 90% resistance. When he was activating that resistance, he was basically immune to damage. It's like same same as the the leech was back when it was released. Um, so let's take out this guy. I'm still here. And if you think, all right, Manny, you have now reached 57,000 HP. I'm sure you're going to down very soon now. Starting that now that there's Titans st starting to spawn in. <laughs> Sorry to tell you guys, I'm not going down. Forget it! This is the Fenrir! It cannot be killed! Don't you understand? <laughs> I'm doing some corner shooting at the enemy Titan here. I'm locking him down and I'm corner shooting two, two times. Uh, and now I can even expose myself all the way because he's busy firing at some other dude. And I have my shield. If he would switch target to me all of a sudden, I would simply activate my shield and then uh, walk back in safety, you know? And I would come out of this without getting hit. Again, the shield block damage from the Scorpion, and there he goes. And let's finish off this Titan real quick with the help of some other Titans. BAM! And with the increase, remember, 300% damage from the built-in drone microchips and the overdrive that's three times on this Fenrir right there. We do so much damage. Hell, Titan, hi! Bats! Titan Slayer, yes! Oh, man. Oh, hey, wait a minute, what was that? I never saw this before. Look, I'm I like if this was uh, real physics, I would be blah, destroyed by the weapons falling from the skies. Thankfully, this isn't fully real physics. War Robots does have some pretty interesting physics, but this part is not in. You get slaughtered by weapons that are falling from the skies. <laughs> Titan weapons falling down. That, by the way, was a full Ares, right? I'm just gonna say this right here. That was a 100% Ares. Rups, gone in 1.5 seconds. Yes, that's how we do it in the money town, don't we? Yes, we do. And uh, there's a f another Aochun coming. How many times have I killed this guy? I killed his Titan and I killed four of his robots, I think. This may ma must be his last robot. He, literally his last robot right there. Now he thinks, okay, he's down at 35,000 HP. I can take him down, he thinks. I can take, I, I can do it. Finally killing that robot uh, before the match ends at the very least. And then I'm just gonna activate my shield and walk out of his range so he can't walk inside the shield and I get him, I don't know, probably a sixth time now. This, uh, yeah. This is a, uh, let's say this is just a really powerful robot right there. I can still corner shoot the Yao Ming, and he realizes that, by the way, this is his buddy. The TR dude right there is his buddy, because, uh, yo, um, they, they are in a, in a squad match together, so, yeah. He tried to hit me then, but I was corner shooting, and now I can even work down his Titan as well, and BATS! There he goes. Nice! So, let me just hear what you guys think about, the leg uh, about this Titan. Uh, um, I, I just called it accidentally a titan, but maybe this was accidentally the right way to describe it. I think I'm finally going down here. I'm in the middle of the open, and this is usually when you start to die, right? 
yeah, as long as you have cover nearby to stand to go behind, but uh, then you can do something. But as, as soon as you get out in the open, there isn't really much you can do. Uh, this was also my old hawk robot. Remember this one? I was running it with Dragoons and Marques. Um, and I was having fun with this. It was a good sniper. But the thing is, nowadays, a good sniper has, you know, Hail and Scotty or, or Snare. Hail and Snare Hawk is now a good sniper. It has so much more firepower, so much more, and it instantly delivers. It doesn't have to reload as much, and it freezes enemies on top, you know? It's just crazy. It's so much better than the Dragoon and Marquez version. It's just, like, three times better. But still... Look at what this, what we did here, 4.3 million damage, 16 kills, and 4 beacons capped, all just with the Fenrir and the Atomizers and Nucleon, man. I feel like really this was a little bit of an old gem that I found on my hard drives. What do you think, dudes? Uh, but it's not over yet, I still have some more to show, uh, and uh, yeah, this guy's done. We took him down like uh, pretty easily from up here. And also, I like this position. I think I've said this a few times to you guys, that this is a really good position. Uh, you have uh, this, this tower here in front of us that you can go behind. Depending on where you get shot from, you always have some cover. You can sh corner shoot away from it. Um, you can dodge enemy important abilities and whatnot. Uh, look, for example, now I get attacked from the other side left. And I just fire at the front and I uh, ignore the guy from the left really much, right? He's not really doing much damage there. I'm getting the blitz out of the way. And uh, where did he go, by the way? Ah, there he is. Come on, man. Expose yourself. Or this guy. You can you can hit so many people from here. This is such a good position, dude. Seriously, man. Uh, come on. Get out. Get out. Yeah, yeah. Let me... Ah, uh, no. He's still back in cover there. But this guy isn't. All right. All right. Come on. Yeah. Almost. Oh, I got it. Come on, man. I got him locked when he was in cover. Did, are you kidding me? I was working on that lockdown that whole time, and then he walks in cover, and then he's locked. Yeah, sure. This guy? Whoa, the Fury gets down. That's, that's it. Fury bit the farm. To my left was the Ao, Ao Chun right there. Come on, kill the Ao Chun. Manny, what are you doing? There's an Ao Chun to your left. Ah, I could have killed it. Here we go. Oh, is he gonna get the stealth? I could have killed him before, but I didn't see him in time, I guess. Ah, Manny, what are you doing? You're not being a smart player right now. Okay, okay, you're making up for it now, though. Yes, there goes the Ares. And uh, what over the? What is that over there? I'm still having so much HP. Like no one can kill me. Look at this. Now we have the uh, the leech coming up. He's gonna activate his ability immediately. We have Living Legend now. Uh, pff, holy smokes, man. So I'm suppressed now, I think. Let's see if we can get this dude. Alright, he's trying to be uh, smart right there. I have the shield that blocks a couple of shots, see that? Can we get Living Legend again? That would be pretty cool. Yes, Living Legend. Here's another leech coming in, also with leech ability. I'm activating my shield and I walk back in safety. Wait out his leech ability. And uh, once it ends, rups, he immediately gets deleted. It's so crazy. I did lose a lot of HP here now. Uh, but uh, we got a couple of living legends. And yeah, look, the old, the enemy T is like back in spawn, uh, uh, ho home spawn now. We basically destroyed them so fast. That's an, an Haichi right there, gets in cover, okay. I think I just lost my Living Legend streak. No, I didn't! I didn't! It's still there! Oh, Boots! Living Legend! Yes! And, come on! Living Legend! Oh my goodness, man. What am I doing to these poor guys? They're all spawning in and de they're in death land right there. What's that? Oh, it's, an, it's a Bulgazari. It's actually a Bulgazari that... Well, come on, Bulgazari. Don't make me wait for it. Ugh. All right. Okay, okay, this guy. Living legend. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe we're still getting living legends here, man. All right, somebody's ruining this guy's day right there on the on the wayland. I want it too, but I'm like three meters out of range. Ugh. Come on. Yes, all right. Well, I'm jumping down now. Whatever. Let's just get this thing. Whoa, come on. 
Ah, it wasn't my kill though. But I didn't really deserve that kill, let's be honest. That was somebody else's kill. Let's work on that Titan a little bit. Uh, he just dropped his, uh, his... Wow, look how fast he dies. Nico just died in a minute. Captain Zerg is coming up. Hi, Captain Zerg. And boom. He got deleted as well. Who's that guy who's getting all the kills? The gendarme. Somebody... No, wait a minute. It was something different, I think. The guy with the machine guns. Let's increase the sound volume a little. Okay, here comes the enemy stove ability. The enemy titan increased uh, damage. Alright, we got out, got this guy out of the way. And that guy feels safe around the wall. Jesus, man. The enemy team gets completely deleted by this one Fe Fenrir right here. I want the Titan, I want it, I want it. Ah, okay. Well, somebody else got it. And now I think, I think I might die now because he probably has stealth. Probably has it ready. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! <laughs> Yes, he didn't do it in time. I don't know what he was thinking, but I somehow still was able to get that kill. Man, this this Fenrir is just breaking the game right now, man. Uh, but I'm okay, two titans and stove abilities and all that. That was a bit too much for me to handle. I didn't even have any any good drones back then. It's just that one drone that I had with the damage boost. Hey, I, I think we just broke through the shield on uh on the Arthur, so now I'm actually starting the laser beam, and I'm just get deleting that Arthur real quick, and then I'm continuing on with him. They are starting to capture our base, though. Now this is a, uh, this is not cool, guys. Although, you know what? Let them have it because we're already in the lead, anyways. Captain Sirk, can we get him? What do you think, dudes? All right. Ah, the match ends. Okay. Well then, let's see how much we've done right here. 4.5 million damage, 17 kills. And I don't know, a feels like never ending living legend streak on this old uh, Fenrir. This, dude, this is just, uh, yeah, it's completely nuts what you were able to do with this thing then. Of course, atomizers and nucleons are no longer as important. Nowadays, you go with um, with the snare, no, the, uh, the Skadi and the hail if you want this to be more like a sniper. But the thing is, this setup was a good brawler as well, because you never ran out of ammo and somebody standing in front of you. For example, also with a Fenrir, you, you would just non-stop fire and eventually they die, right? Because, well, very little, very few weapons have the amount of firepower that the Nucleons and Atomizers have when you fire for an extended period of time. So, um, yeah, I was, I'm glad I was able to use that that old footage and show you something that I feel like was really interesting to watch. Hopefully you do agree. Let me know know if you do, ladies and gents. Uh, also, thanks to, for Raid for sponsoring this video here. And uh, I'll be saying thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Money signing off. Bye-bye.